A man trying to get his boat out of the water wound up with his truck all wet, and now he's blaming the boat ramp. Good evening. I'm Kenny Choi in Papala Kana. And I'm Yanji Denise. He says the Alawai boat ramp is just too slippery, and that's just too dangerous. KITV Force Pete Cajano talked with boaters today and joins us now. Pete. That's right. The Alawai boating ramp claimed another vehicle this past Sunday. Some say the ramp is not safe. However, the Department of Land and Natural Resources says that when used properly, the ramp is safe. Here's how to ruin a day in the water. A truck trying to tow the boat back out slides down the boat ramp and into the drink. It happened Sunday at the Alawai boat ramp. We're just fortunate that nobody got hurt, but I mean, with unsafe ramp conditions like this, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to think about what could happen to the next person. Eric says he's just the latest victim of a boat ramp that he considers too slick. Launching was fine. We came in the early morning. Uh, when we came back in, it was low tide, so when the tide recedes, it exposes a lot of algae growth on the ramp, and the algae itself is really slippery. It's really difficult to walk on. And apparently it happens more than you think. The driver of the tow truck was rescued. Eric's truck says this is the fourth vehicle he knows of that has taken the plunge. So it's due to the slipperiness of the ramp. There's a lot of algae growth, and there's a lot of inconsistent gratings on the ramp. This is how the ramp looks after being freshly pressure washed. Over the weekend, it was much slicker and covered with algae. DNLR says the ramp is pressure washed every month or two. Sometimes there's a lot of algae, and you you know you can feel it just by walking. You know it's it's very noticeable, and you can see it. Other boaters have noticed the algae, but say it's just a matter of knowing your environment. The more you, you boat, and then you get to know, you know the, the places where you launch. So it's something that you have to be concerned all the time. Now, DNLR says they have not received a complaint about algae from other boaters, including this instance, and therefore cannot comment on the situation. They emphasize that thousands use boat ramps each day without incident, and signs are posted warning drivers that the ramp may be slippery. Yanji Kenny? Pretty tough for that boater. Thanks so much, Pete.